is it worth it? This is a hard question to answer. I... Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another cookbook review and today I'll be reviewing Jay Nice's Kitchen Envy. So if you don't know who Jay Nice is, she is a fashion designer. I believe her clothing brand is called Closet Envy. I mean, she's gorgeous. She's mwah, like beautiful girl, beautiful, beautiful girl. But apparently she's also a really good cook. And so she decided to go into making a cookbook. She does some appliances and that type of thing. So I went ahead and ordered her book and I just wanted to review it for you guys just in case you were thinking about getting it. So let's get right into it. The cookbook is $65. And then with shipping, it cost me another $15. So total, I spent $80 on this cookbook. Now, I've already spent $80 on another cookbook and was so disappointed. So I was very reluctant to buy this one, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. You know, I like to support. So I bought the book. It comes in this bubble mailer like this. And then it comes in a cardboard box like this. And then finally the book is inside the cardboard box and it is a soft cover book. So I wish it was hardcover for the price. I feel like it should be hardcover. It's already starting to wear a little bit at the end. So that's a little bit annoying, but whatever. The book itself is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the colors that she uses. It's really bright. It's really, it looks very professional. looks very well done. All the photos in it look gorgeous. There's surprisingly no photos in here of her, which again is a lot different from some other cookbooks that I've seen by celebrities, but all the food just looks amazing. So as far as the quality of the book, very good. I just wish it was hardcover. So the book is called The Kitchen Envy Cookbook, Cuisine and Tings, Easy Caribbean and Soulful American Recipes. So this is sort of supposed to be a blend of American traditional recipes as well as Carib Caribbean influences. The book is about 285 pages and I counted 120 actual recipes as well as 10 drink recipes in there. So a total of 130 recipes, which I think is a pretty good deal, pretty standard or on average with a lot of cookbooks that I buy. Getting right into the book, she has a content section which tells you all the sections that are in the book so she's got her main things like you know brunch some pasta dishes she got meat dishes the only thing that I wish that this had is that I wish that it listed out each recipe in this portion so if you were to search for a recipe you would have to go to each section and search for it or you would have to look for it in the index it's not the hugest deal but when you're like looking for things to try you have to physically flip through each section to find some menus so I kind of just wish it listed all the recipes out in the beginning of the book and then listed what pages they're on so that would have been a lot easier in my opinion Okay, so on to the section. She's got a brunch in menu. She's got craven carbs, which is like pasta dishes. She's got meat by the sea. This is a odd category to be honest with you because it's meat by the sea, but then it's got like baby back ribs turkey meatloaf, lamb, steak. Like, I don't know if that necessarily means meat by the sea. Like, is this supposed to be a seafood section? Cause it's not, but it would be really helpful. Like I said, if it listed out all the recipes in that. Cause if I read meat by the sea, I would think, oh, this is only seafood, whatever. Anyway, she's got cooking up a bird, which is your bird or <laughs> your bird chicken dishes. Overall, I like her sections because she has some that kind of stand out to me. So for instance, the Island Tings, she has a whole section of Caribbean influenced recipes. That makes this book a little more unique. It's not your standard cookbook that's got you know just your basic american recipes but to have a whole section devoted to her caribbean side love that she's got a section called no waste but taste which again i think is a great section to have so you have your lower carb menu options and then finally she has um vegan vibes so really cool if you are a vegan and you are interested in getting this book you got a whole section that is dedicated to just vegan recipes so i think that's pretty cool she's got her drink menu and then also she's got some desserts so yeah i just want to talk through a few recipes and before i get to that y'all know i had to try some drinks so i have two of them here that i have so her drink menu is called sip after dark the first one i have here it's called bougie tea. I knew I had to try that one. It's more like citrus. It's got lime and then citrus vodka. So I'm going to give this a try and I'm going to sip this while I talk about the first two breakfast items that I made. So bottom up. That's good. It's very heavy on the citrus. I'm actually going to take this lime out. Very heavy on the citrus. Whew. 
9.07 p.m. and I'm about to make some pancakes. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but the batter is too runny and it's too lumpy. So these ain't coming out good. What'd you ask for? What you got? <laughs> I'm gonna try this again tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Last night was a total fail. Those pancakes came out terrible, but the crazy thing is they tasted good. So I'm gonna actually try to make them again. I'm gonna tweak them a little bit and see if I can get the consistency better. And I'm also gonna make breakfast burritos. Batter is looking way better than it did yesterday. Yeah, these are really good. I'm about to eat them all. <laughs> all right, let me try the breakfast burrito. Hey, okay. I wish I would've used regular sausage instead of turkey sausage. I would've feel like it would've had more flavor, but it's, it's basic, honestly. It's a little basic. Okay, so she has several breakfast menu items. Now, I like this section. I like making breakfast. I will tell you there are three different recipes on French toast, so you know for originality in this section it kind of gets a eh. i made the red velvet pancakes as well as the breakfast omelet so the red velvet pancakes were really good i actually ended up making these twice so i made this just to try it and they came out terrible i followed the recipe instructions exactly but it did not come out right so i went ahead and made it again the next day and i ended up um having to tweak the recipe. I don't know how much detail y'all want, but basically I just had to tweak the recipe a little bit in order to get the, the batter consistency to be good. And that made them a lot better. Now, even when I made them that the night before, they were so good. They were so good. So even though they didn't look appealing what at all, not appealing at all, they tasted really good. And the same thing when I made them the next day, they taste delicious. So she gets an A plus on that recipe. The next recipe I tried was the breakfast burrito. Um, it was it was average, you know. All right, so the next thing I made was a little snack. She's got a whole section dedicated to snack foods, and I made the dynamite shrimp. Okay, so all my ingredients are prepped. This is the shrimp and the buttermilk mixture. I'm gonna dip it into the flour and cornstarch and then I'm gonna fry it and then let it rest and chill. And then right there is the sriracha. taste that's really good the only thing different that i would have done is i would have added seasoning to the powder like i feel like when you season the batter it doesn't stick so it actually i'm gonna add some more seasoning to it I'm gonna add some more, some more seasoning add a little more flavor so yeah, I wish in her instructions it told you to season like the powder too. Like when I fry chicken, I season the powder that I dip it in. And I feel like that is way better than just seasoning the batter because it runs off. So the dynamite shrimp was pretty straightforward and easy to make. One thing I love about her, and not every cookbook does this, I have come to find out, and she included the serving sizes and the cook time. So how long it's gonna take you to make something as well as how many people it's supposed to feed. For me, that seems like basic information. 
but not everybody else apparently feels that way. So as far as the general things that a cookbook has, she nailed it on the head. So I made this dynamite shrimp, delicious. Honestly, so good. The sauce is punchy, it's spicy, hit, hit the ball out the water. So these were really good and yeah, I loved it. Okay, the next dish that I made was the Tuscan chicken. This is your basic Tuscan chicken dish, to be honest, in my opinion. This is another example of a recipe that I had to modify. If I didn't know anything about cooking, I would have made it exactly the way that she listed. But because I, you know, tend to cook on a regular basis, I knew that these chicken breasts were not gonna get done the way she did it. So I did end up cutting them. Dish came out pretty average it's not my favorite it's pretty normal pretty basic um i'm gonna eat it but it didn't tickle my fancy nothing revolutionary it didn't didn't do anything for me but overall it was pretty good if you're looking for dinner ideas one of my favorite things to do is go get a cookbook flip through and find a recipe this is one of those good weeknight recipes that you might be able to try but overall it wasn't wasn't anything magical but it was good also with that, I tried some green beans. So one of the things I like doing in cookbooks is finding something that I already make on a regular basis and then seeing if they make it any different. And I love the way these green beans came out. I have never sauteed green beans. I usually always just buy them frozen, put them in the on the stove, turn the heat on, and then just warm them through and I'm done. These are actually fresh organic green beans and I like the way they came out. They were really good and I will probably make my green beans like this from now on. Okay, so last but not least today, I wanted to make a recipe out of her island ting section. I really think this is the section that shows off the most about her roots and her heritage. So I tried the jerk salmon, um, and I think this recipe came out really, really well. I actually haven't tasted this yet, so we're going to do a live taste test. I haven't tasted any of the food that I made today. While I'm eating this, I'm going to tell you guys what my final thoughts are on the book. Okay, so before I dig into this, I'm going to try my next drink. This is Hennessy Lemonade. Mm, I don't really like that one, but I like this one. This one's really good, so I'm, I'm gonna leave that. I mean, I'm probably gonna drink it, but okay. All right, so this is the jerk chicken salmon. I like my salmon crispy, so it might look burnt to you, but I like mine crispy. I like the crunch on the outside. I did this in my cast iron skillet, so it's gonna be a little darker than normal. Then I have this barbecue sauce that we made from scratch that she tells us to put on top of it. So I'm gonna give this a try. So good. One thing I like about Jamaican or jerk chicken, you got the sweet and the spicy, really savory, all in the mouth, like explosion of flavor. I love it, it's really good, I like this. I like this, and this is mm, really good. Mm, with the crunch, mm. All right, next I have some cream corn. This is just your basic average cream corn. I haven't actually made cream corn from a recipe book before, and it's good. It's good. I love cream corn. It's really good. It's probably not healthy though, but it's really good. All right, last but not least, we have these potatoes. Um, these are really average. These are basic. These are nothing special. This is your basic roast potato. Could have skipped it. I mean, I'm gonna eat it though, but we could have skipped it. Okay, so let me just summarize my thoughts overall. As far as like originality goes, I will give her four out of five because at least she made the effort to put in some original, inspired, true to her roots recipes rather than your basic bland stuff. For the taste, everything tasted really, really good. I like the way she seasons things. When you get her recipe book, you'll see that she does use the same seasonings a lot. And that, that makes sense. Like you kind of get the flavor for her and how she seasons things and how she prepares things. One of the things I really did like in this book is she has a pantry section or a section that has like your kitchen essentials. And she talks about like how to wash chicken or wash meat and things like that. So Again, that's a little above and beyond what I've come to expect from celebrity cookbooks. So I'm really glad that she added that section in there. <laughs> as far as price and is it worth it? This is a hard question to answer. I 
do feel like I overpaid for the book, meaning I don't think that it's worth $80, but at the same time, I'm not mad. You know what I mean? Like I don't feel like, like, like I got scammed or feel like I got cheated. When I bought and I reviewed my other cookbook, I definitely felt like, oh, this is a scam because you're playing with me right now. I don't feel like that. I do not feel like that with her. I feel like she did a really good job. It feels like a complete cookbook. It feels like it's not something that was thrown together last minute. Do I think that the recipes are all super original? No. Do I feel like it's like I had to get my hands on it and I don't care if the price was $65? No, not necessarily, but I did buy it and don't feel like I wasted my money. So that does make me feel a little bit better. You're gonna have to decide if 65 or $80 is in your budget if you want to buy it if you support her if you like her buy it is a must-have life-changing life-altering book no but is it a good cookbook yes I can't say that about all of them but this is for sure a good cookbook it it feels like a, a complete cookbook so I don't feel like I got scammed the food is really good I will be cooking a lot more recipes out of this book um, and I'm excited to try some other things out of here so yeah overall I am satisfied with my purchase but you know I, I didn't like the price if it was a good $40 I would I would be like oh yeah this is worth it but if we had $80 that was just it's just a little bit of a budget stretch so let me know did you buy it how do you feel about it I think I think she did a good job honestly I do think she did a good job so so yeah